Bella, welcome to Beauty on a Budget and a new little series I wanted to start for you about skincare. Um, I know I show and share with you my skincare products very often, but what I wanted to do is go into detail more about each product and things that I found, things that work, and um, things that I think are just a hype. Um, and also to share with you my skin type and maybe if your skin is the same, you know, these videos will help you and I certainly hope they will. So I've got a very sensitive skin and, and you guys must have heard me moan about that time and time again. So there's certain things I can't use. I can't use Retin-A or ret strong retinols because they just, they burn at my face and it hurts. I can feel the burning and certain vitamin C's can do that as well. Um, there's so many products, glycolic acid, um, there's so many things, some toners, even some strong micellar waters can bring me out. It's I have got a very, very sensitive skin. So I'm testing different things to see if it works for me. If it's just, as I said, a hype. Anything I show you or share with you will always be something that I've tried for myself for a good time and that I can see results. If I can't see results, um, then I will tell you that too. Um, but th 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 today's one, it's something that I've been very pleased with, that I bought really, not really hoping for anything, just, you know, as an experiment because I heard about it so much. Um... But today's product is called Argeline, Argeline, Argeline. <laughs> I will write the name across the top. Um, and what this is, this is the one by The Ordinary. And I'll give you sort of a brief outline what it is, or at least what they state is. They call it Botox in a bottle. Now... Botox in a bottle, why do they call it that? Because it has very, very similar peptides to Botox. And we all know what Botox is that we have that injected. Now, to say Botox in a bottle, I don't know. Because obviously Botox is injected and this is applied topically. Um, so you apply it to the skin. Now... Nothing is going to reach the depths that a needle would reach. Um, so anything that you put on topically doesn't get that deep. But one of the advantages of getting older, not that there's many, <laughs> one of the advantages of getting older is our skin is thinner. And it's thin around here. So when we apply something topically, we've got more chance of it actually getting deeper than, say, a younger person whose skin is thicker and, and firmer and tougher. Um, we've got more chance of that getting down to where it's needed than, you know, than I say, a younger person. So how does it work? It works in a similar way to Botox. It stops the severity of how your eyes can crease. So when you smile and you laugh, the lines here are not so severe because it stops the muscles underneath. It goes down into the muscle and it stops it creasing so much. So although I've heard it a lot of times described as a relaxant, in my opinion, and only my humble opinion, it's not. It's quite the opposite to a relaxant. What it does is it it stops. So as you go like this, it stops you being able to do it. You've seen people, to me, who maybe have too much Botox, and they have no expression lines in their forehead, like I've got lines here. They've got no, no lines there, because it, it stops that happening. It... it firms those muscles so that when you do this or you do this they the creases are still there they're still there but they're not there with such severity because it's it stopped that 
it's firm batter. I hope I've described that right. As I said, guys, I'm, I'm no professional. For me, it's working. I've been using it about four months, and I can definitely see, as you can see, I've still got lines. I mean, let me try and get a bit closer, guys. I've still got the lines, and when I screw up, I've still got the lines, but they are not as severe. It's very slight, but they are not as severe as they were. That's that's definite. I want to try it down here next. But they are not as severe. I use it once a day. I use it at night time. I put it on quite generously. And yeah, I can honestly say that and I didn't think it would. I had no faith. I, I have no faith in anything when I buy it. I have to try it first. But for me, it's working. Now, this one is by The Ordinary. The strength of it comes between, somewhere between 10 and 20%. I don't think it goes up to 30%. I'm not sure, but I, somewhere between 10 and 20%. This is 10 because obviously I started off the least I could because, you know, worrying about my skin being so sensitive and so forth. Doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't sting. It really sinks in very quickly so your skin absorbs it very quickly so you've got no sticky oily residue around your eyes or anything like that i put it on overnight i put caffeine under here and then i put my agiline argerine <laughs> up here and and a little bit above my brow here just here and i really feel it's working i really feel it's helping on the line that Botox would, not as much. Never, I've never had Botox, but I said you will get nothing applied topically that will work as well as something being injected, obviously, because of the depths it goes to. But being older, having thinner skin, it does absorb better. Um, and I would say this is a winner. It's a winner for me. I'm going to continue using it. I'll let you know... Um, but it's one of those products, you know, before I started YouTube, I cleansed, toned, nourished every single day. I always did that every single day. But I hadn't heard of the, you know, the oils and the serums that I know of now. It's completely YouTube that's taught me that. And having a sensitive skin, I said, oh, I've had to be pretty careful. But... You know, I'd learnt so much and I think to myself, if I'd never been on YouTube, I still would have been, you know, cleansed, tone, nourished, cleansed, tone, nourished, and, and that's it, an eye cream. But um, there's so many things now that helps and can help with so many different problems we've got. Um, but if you, you if you hear of a, a, a product, always research it first to see what it does. Before you buy it, research it. Do a lot of research in the sense, don't just go to the people that are selling the product. Go to independent researchers. Because that way you'll get, obviously, someone selling the product is going to hype it up a little bit more, aren't they? YouTube it. You get YouTube videos on it. Um, I do everything I buy, I YouTube video everything. Um... So to be careful when you're buying something, make sure it's genuine. Make sure you're not buying it from someone who's just pushing it. But I honestly, honestly think that this this is a winner. This uh, I'm going to say it right in a minute. Sharon <laughs> is a winner for me. I really like it. I'm really pleased with what's happening. It's not massive. I mean, it's not a massive difference, but it's certainly enough for me to continue using it. So. As always, I hope you've enjoyed my video, guys. Um, if you'd like me to carry on with different things that I could, um, you know, explain to you what they do, rosehip oil and different things that I use, caffeine and, you know, hyaluronic acid or vitamin C or why we use those things, I'll work my way through them if you'd like me to continue with it. I will do that exactly for you. So you take care of yourselves, guys, and thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon.